Let's look at simplifying powers of i, where i here is the imaginary unit. For example, let's simplify i raised to the 17th power. Now we're going to want to use the fact that i squared is equal to negative 1. But how are we going to do that? Now the first thing to notice here is that 17 is an odd number. So in order for us to use the fact that i squared is equal to negative 1 here, we'll first have to break off 1i. In other words, let's rewrite i to the 17th as i to the 16th times i. And now we can rewrite i to the 16th as i squared raised to the 8th power times i. And now we can use this fact here. That is, this is equal to negative 1 raised to the 8th power and then times i. But negative 1 raised to the 8th power is just 1. So this is equal to i. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's simplify i to the 24th power. Now 24 is an even number, so we can rewrite this directly as a power of i squared. That is, i squared raised to the 12th power. Again, we'll use the fact that i squared is negative 1. That is, this is equal to negative 1 raised to the 12th power, which is equal to 1. All right, what about i to the 38th power? Again, 38 is an even number. So we can directly rewrite this as a power of i squared. In other words, i squared raised to the 19th power. Again, using this fact here, we get that this is equal to negative 1 raised to the 19th power, which is equal to negative 1. All right, and what about i to the 47th power? Now this is odd, so again what we'll do first is break one off. So this is i to the 46th times i, and then rewrite i to the 46th as i squared raised to the 23rd power, and then times i. And again, using the fact that i squared is equal to negative 1, gives us that this is equal to negative 1 to the 23rd power times i. And negative 1 to the 23rd power is equal to negative 1. So this is equal to negative i. Now let's look at these four answers here. We have i which was the first one. Second one, we got 1 as our answer. The third one got negative 1 as our answer. And finally, we got negative i as our answer. And this will always be the case, that when we're simplifying powers of i, we'll always get one of these four answers, either plus or minus i or plus or minus 1. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.